Hello, my name is Kim, and welcome to another episode of Murderous Madams. Today we talk about Louise Peet. Louise Peslar was born on September 20th, 1880 in Bienville, Louisiana. She came from a family of... She married a traveling salesman named Henry Bosley. In 1906, Henry Bosley committed suicide because he caught Louise in bed with another man. He, um, shot himself. And Louise just moved on to her next man. Louise eventually relocated to Shreveport where she worked as a prostitute and stole money from clients. And sometime later in Waco, Texas, she met a guy named Joe Appel, a.k.a. Diamond Joe. She killed him after a week and stole his diamonds. He was arrested and tried for his murder, but was acquitted. See, Joe is from the North. And her saying, you know, it was a Yankee who tried to force himself on me because they lived in the South, that was good enough for no indictment. <laughs> She later got married to a Harry Ferrante, and the pattern is repeated. He, she cheated on him, and he shot himself. Sometime later, she met and married a guy named Richard Pete in Denver, and became a mother. That did not settle her down, and she eventually left. She moved to L.A. and met... A guy named Jacob Denton. Uh, She wanted to marry him even though she was still technically married. And he didn't really want a wife. He only wanted a lover. And she eventually shot him. And it took them a while to find the body. Uh, Louise went back to Richard... And he was so happy, he just took her in, no questions asked. Well, eventually the police, you know, figured out it was her and went to Denver and arrested her. She tried to charm her way out, but it didn't work. Uh, She was sentenced to life. Her husband sent her letters. They went unanswered. In 1924, he shot himself. After 20 years, she was paroled. She didn't learn anything and went back to her ways. She got a job for a Mr. and Mrs. Logan. And shortly after prison, Louise met and Mrs. married Logan more judge than we of course, she not tell prison time Shortly thereafter, Mrs. Logan disappeared. And she shipped Mr. Logan off to the insane asylum. Louise and Lee continued to live in the Logan house. Uh, part of the, her parole deal was that her employers had to write parole reports because she told them some stuff. And she, um, there was a very uh, observant parole officer who noticed that the reports about Louise were just glowing. They were just getting better and better. And then he noticed the signatures didn't quite match. So they went to her house. Uh, it was, Mrs. Logan's body was discovered under an avocado tree. This time there was no mercy. Louise was arrested and sentenced to death in the one of five women to go to the San Quentin's gas chamber on April 11, 1947. Her husband is so appalled by this that he goes to a, a b- building in downtown LA and jumps off. Ugh. Oh, and by the way, this is the actress they used to play Louise Pete on Deadly Women. Well, that's all for now, and I hopefully will see you on another episode of Murderous Madams.